okay so um this is my self-portrait um i don't have any copy paper so just bear with me guys i am i am nervous about this so you know what we're gonna use notebook paper all right all right so um my name is tanaya it's spelled t-a-n-i-a and it's not pronounced in any kind of foreign language i know i get that people pronounce my name wrong and whatever so i'm i'm 15 years old just a normal teenager over here just drawing it up for you and um i'm a bit different than any normal teenager let's just say i'm not normal and um i do tend to say random things at random times and i make weird noises like chihuahuas and stuff like that and whatnot and so yeah i'm in marching band and i have a lot of friends i guess i suppose and and most of all thing i love the most is drawing like drawing is the best thing that i could ever have and i think it's a gift for me to draw and i am i am honored to have this kind of ability that some people don't really have i'm not saying that any of you guys are bad drawers i'm pretty sure you guys are really good drawers and when i get older i want to be an animator at cartoon network which is really different than any other job that people would want all right first thing um first time i got into drawing my first drawing was a face it was literally just a face i was about four or five years old and i had pencil paper and i started just making lines and circles and you know triangles and stuff like that like little kids love shapes so i was in love with shapes and so i started drawing and i realized that it was a face i drew a face and i was really pumped about it i was like oh my god it's a face look at it it is a freaking face and i love it it's a drawing that i drew and i am proud of it I literally went to my family members and shoved the picture in front of their faces. Like, look at this crap. This is the best thing you could ever have. It's the best thing since Hot Cheetos or whatnot. I was really, really excited about it. Like, I was the happiest kid in the world and a bit aggressive about it. And I was literally screaming to the top of my lungs, lungs look at it. Just look at it and and ever since then drawing became a hobby that i actually liked i never really did anything as a kid except for you know being a butthole and you know just hanging around and being mean to everybody because i was an aggressive kid i was addicted to drawing actually i drew every day and i felt good about it it was a really good feeling to just make your hand move with a pencil and make markings on a thin sheet of paper. It's really, really imaginative and really cool. And I had a really huge imagination then. And this all leads up to when I got really fascinated with cartoons. Um, the cartoons I've watched were like Hey Arnold or SpongeBob, Dora, and all that kind of crazy nonsense that you really watch when you're a kid. I watched a like Cartoon Network and Disney and Nickelodeon and all that stuff was great back then. And it really and if you think about it, that was a really long time ago, and those cartoons were amazing. I just fell in love with them, and yeah. The cartoons that I watch now, I don't 
most people don't really know about them except for like a handful of people um gravity falls is a really really good cartoon which has this crazy plot and there's steven universe which also has a great plot and star vs. the forces of evil i think i said that right yes i said it right i know i said it right because i'm cool right okay no never mind sorry yeah but that's a really great show too and I was so interested in cartoons, how somebody could draw something and make it move and have feelings and make them do all this crazy stuff that you can't do in real life. I mean, with cartoons, you can do literally anything. It has no restrictions. And that's the best part of it. And thinking about that for a while and drawing and watching cartoons it kind of made me thinking hey i want to make cartoons i want this to happen i want to do that because it sounds fun and it's not no boring desk job and you know boring jobs that people have and boring jobs that people don't like this is a job that i might actually like and get paid for it like big time and I've wanted this career for a long 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 time I mean from like short periods of time I wanted to be something crazy like a soccer player or dentist which I am not good at sports and my teeth look weird so you know that's not gonna happen I want to do things that I'm good at I mean if you're bad at something and if you're doing a job that relates to it then you're not going to be really good at it and I'm really good at drawing and I think I'll be a good animator myself a lot of people have inspired me like um the creator of regular show JG Quintel he had um he had inspired me a lot and I love his creativity of his whole show, and he's made several animations and several other um, animators like Rebecca Sugar, she made Steven Universe, and Darren Nefsey, who created Star vs. the Forces of Evil, and a couple of my friends who actually draw have inspired me too. And those people mean a lot to me and someday I wish I would work with some of my inspirations and that will really be exciting and I do put a lot of effort into my drawings and I'm surprised how I have improved over years and years and practice and just sitting at a desk and drawing and doing random things and then and then thinking, oh, if I can draw this, then maybe I could draw that. And then I experiment and try to doodle certain things and they work and my drawings improve and they get better and better. You know, practice makes perfect. I know that's like a cliche quote, but it's true. It's true. And what motivates me is um, you never give up. You never give up on what you you know, want to do. You just do it. Just do it! Thank you, Shia LaBeouf, for that amazing speech thing. Okay, whatever. Let's not talk about Shia LaBeouf. Okay, let's stop. But anyways, yes. Um, never give up and put your effort into what you love to do and practice. And... Don't let anybody get in the way with what you want to do. Because it's not about them. It's about you and what you want to do. And to people who are out there who want to be an animator, just, just watch a couple of cartoons and get a piece of paper and a pencil and you can draw. If you can write, then you can draw. I heard that somewhere last year. I have no idea, but it worked. Kind of. So, yeah. That's about it and yeah I hope to be an animator someday and I'm really really hyped for it like I am super hyped for it
Um, yeah. And that's it. Bye. Yeah, puppies and rainbows and chicken noodle soup and well, I don't even eat that. No, hot Cheetos. Hot Cheetos are the best. Flaming hot Cheetos, yes. All right. Um, goodbye. I'm done speaking now. You guys can unplug your ears. All right, bye.